what is going on guys Kirk here and we're getting ready for the bikers DLC as you can see I got my biker outfit and my motorbike getting ready for that biker update and talking about topic and this topic's not about the DLC that's rumored to be coming out but there's one thing I would like to say as an idea I hope they will ask by a clubhouse in the DLC if it's true and hopefully Johnny from the Wasp MC gives us missions so anyway, let's, let's get into today's topic. Today's topic is which ending of Walking Dead Season 2 is canon for Season 3? If you look back at Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 5 ended with multiple endings. So I'm not sure which ending is going to be canon. Like Because, let's see, it had like so many endings. There was an ending where you go with Kenny or stay at Wellington or you kill Kenny when he's about to kill Jane you go with Jane and you go back to Carver's place then there's the family you have an option to let them in or not go in so we can count those as either one ending or two endings and then there's the also ending where you're all by yourself with AJ the baby for season two. So I'm gonna get into details what I think could be it for season three. Cause season three took a long time to make cause it must have been hard for Telltale like to get the entire storyline like to make it perfect. Like it must be hard for Telltale because like having like six multiple endings must be a huge problem for them and like must have been hell for them if they're having to make separate stories for each episodes this season like and yes I know Telltale had other projects to work on like the Batman game like other games to work on but I have to say Walking Dead season 2's multiple endings might have been a good reason why season 3 took so long to make and I know it's better to have a game take time on instead of being rushed, instead of being like the same. I agree on that. It's, it's good for them to take their time, but it would have been nice if we would have had season three like last year. Like it would have been cool. Like, but thanks to multiple endings, it must be a challenge. And it, would, it is a good idea to have multiple endings to see what players chose for endings and how it affects their story. But it must be hard for Telltale having to do multiple endings, like, like, what either depends which one they pick, like, I know you're going to be extremely disappointed in this, if, t if Telltale, if they do this, if Telltale makes it where, no matter what ending you pick, both Kenny and Jane die, that would be, that would be really extremely disappointing, because I, I don't want that, like, I want like the choices we made to affect the story like that that's the whole point of the game but if it's like like I said where Telltale just just did the swacky wa ra lazy way instead of making separate storylines it'd be a real extreme disappointment disappointment I mean like if you look at season 3 what we saw at the first trailer we really didn't see nothing that big all we just saw was Kenny, I mean Clementine shooting a walker and some new guy that said that was Mark II. We must be getting close. They didn't really show much stuff like at the E3 trailer. Like they did with season two. Like they had a, they had like a small trailer with some cool music which was great. But I just hope Telltale's not doing the lazy the lazy way like cause that would be extremely disappointing like if they make it like oh like oh no matter what you chose Kenny and Jane both die but I don't want that to happen like I want to see what's it like to have each person in each story cause when it comes out if if it's not like that I'm gonna see what the story is like on YouTube other people's YouTube videos if if you look on Wikipedia, it says unnamed woman, unnamed man for the game on Walking Dead Wikipedia. 
So it could be Kenny or Jane that are actually making full appearances and are staying alive halfway through the season, but it's hard to believe Wikipedia because there's only a 50-50 chance you'll believe it. When it comes to story, I do like Kenny the most. You're probably going to say, and you kept Kenny alive, and a lot of people would say there's no point in making a Kenny storyline you stay with him. Because most people, when it came to choices, either killed him, or wept him, or stayed with Wellington. So, those are possibilities why Kenny could not maybe get a storyline this season. But I really like Kenny. I chose to stick around with him. Like, he's been around since season one. And he was a good friend to Lee, even though I was a little bit of a jerk to him as Lee. But it was nice to Miss Clementine. And yes, Kenny was broken, but he lost his family and stuff. Can't blame him. Alright, moving on to see Season 2's Jane's ending. When it comes to Jane's ending, I did replay it a bit on the PS3 when it first came out, my second save. To be fair with Jane, I don't like her. Like, the way she is. Like, she weps the group in Episode 4 without telling anybody, which pisses Luke off. So they don't like that. And what she did in episode 5 near the end was just completely wrong. Like, she hides the baby and wants Kenny to fight her. She she did that on purpose. She wanted to fight. She didn't want to show Kenny what, I mean Clementine, what Kenny really is. She did that on purpose. She wanted to kill Kenny. There's one thing I do give Jane, like, she was right about Carver's, how it had baby food and food for them to survive going back. Which is a good thing, because AJ doesn't have to eat yet. Like, he can't eat and chew stuff, but he can swallow. Like, because he was a newborn infant baby. But Jane, you pissed off Kenny so many times. Like, talking about his dead family that he loved and cared about, and also mentioning about Sarita, the woman he fell in love with that when he was gained over his dead wife. Th that is just horrible. Like, what? no one would do that in real life. Well, there are people that would do that, but doing that in a time when you only got a kid around, she was not really smart what she did. Like, when you got a kid and a baby... That's all that's left of your group because after when Arbo and Bonnie turn on you and Mike, there was just the four of them. So you basically had to get along to make it count. And I understand about Kenny, some of his stuff was wrong, but Arbo deserved the stuff he got. Because I remember in season two when they were becoming afraid of Kenny for beating up Arbo. He deserved what Arbo got. I'm t I mean, Arbo got what he deserved. Like, he got Wook killed or Bonnie. Depends what option you do that help Wook. Like, he gets Bonnie and Wook killed. Like, and that's really upsetting. So Arbo deserved what he got. And plus, Arbo wide at the end of episode 4, depending what option you do, like if you don't take his stuff, he d says there was no Jane, so Arbol is a bad person. So Jane is the reason why this whole problem got started with Kenny wanting to beat up Arbol. She started this crap, if she would not said we need this stuff because of our people are injured if she, if she could have just like tried to like co communicate with Arbo and try to arrange an agreement none of this would have happened so Jane is responsible for all this crap she really is but sadly I think the reason why her ending might be canon is because more people if I last time I remember at the choices what people did more people, more people are with Jane. So that ending is most likely maybe canon. But if that ending is canon, 
what do I think is going to happen? I think either those people are going to be killed, that family, because I highly doubt they're going to have big roles. That Carver's place is probably going to be overrun with more walkers and maybe attacked by people. Jane's going to die if Telltale does the everyone dies thing. So that could be a possibility. Or Jane's going to be with us for most of the journey for season 3 since she wasn't killed off but she is determined to get killed off in players choices so her ending might be canon with the family that's possible and now going back to Kenny's ending if you stay at Wellington if you stay at Wellington this is what I think is gonna happen AJ is grown up which it's confirmed cuz if you go on the Wikipedia you can see pictures of AJ as a little kid so AJ we already know is in every ending which is confirmed, but if if you stay at Wellington, I probably know what's gonna happen. There's probably gonna be fights at the uh the sanctuary or Walker's gonna take over. Same thing with Kenny I mean Jane's ending what I think will happen. So the sanctuary endings are pretty much guaranteed to know what will happen. Like it's probably gonna fall, it's probably what's gonna be like. But Kenny's ending set with Kenny, like, you don't go to Wellington, I mean, stay at Wellington, Kenny might not be possible because since a lot of people did not choose to stay with him, so, and plus that would really, really upset the people that chose to stay with Kenny, like me. Like, that would really upset us. So, Kenny's ending might not be canon, might be out of the question, but Jane's ending might be canon after all. And the ending and I think that might also be canon if you're by yourself, like, because it would be easy if Telltale chose to make that ending canon, because you don't have to have Jane or Kenny with you, it's just you and AJ, which would probably make it up to season three. But I would be real disappointed if Telltale picked one ending out of all of them. Like, that would be really disappointing. So I don't know which one is canon. I don't know until the game's released. Like, if Telltale, like I said, does that lazy way and chooses where both Kenny die uh, and Jane die automatic, that would be really disappointing. And I know the thing will probably not be like a whole story continuing where it left off. It's going to continue, but it's probably not going to be showing a backstory what happened. But maybe. Who knows what Telltale's doing. All I can say is, I don't know which ending's going to be canon. Which ending do you guys want to be canon? I don't even know. Like, if they don't do it where our endings did it, like, what's the point of making our choices if it doesn't affect the Season 3 story mode? I, d I honestly just don't know which ending will be canon. Well, I think the Kenny end ending is canon because he's been around since Season 1. So I think that ending is canon. That's just my opinion. Drop your comments and thoughts like which ending do you think Telltale will choose because in the trailer we didn't see Kenny or Jane. It was Ke Clementine and that new guy. So I understand why they did that because they don't want to spoil it. Whatever they chose to do but which ending do you guys think will be canon? Which one did you guys choose? Leave your comments and thoughts. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video about which ending will be canon. More topic videos on the way. And how this would be a topic, guys. I'm thinking of making a topic about this, talking about where Cindy Crosby did not deserve the Con Smite playoff MVP trophy this year. See you guys. I'm out of here.